Grab a notebook, grab a pen Do your homework and tell a friend Know all the answers and buzz them in Who knows it better, you or them It's the cooking classroom, now let's begin Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis What's up, Grayson? Yes, holy, look at these guys. It's like NFL linebackers are on the show. All right, welcome in, guys. Today, I got three of them. They're the students, and I got three of them. They're called the teachers, and they're from Eisenhower Science and Technology Leadership Academy and Monco, and they just entered the classroom to show the test students and their favorite teachers. Hey, you think they're pumped up? Look at this pep rally out here. Yeah, baby, they're ready. $500 cash is on the line today, but more importantly for the students, it's bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. We're jumping right into a pop quiz. Okay, grab your buzzers, guys. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is gonna be worth 10 points for your team. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. Uh, if you get the question wrong, contestant from the other side's gonna have a chance to jump in, buzz in, and steal those points. This pop quiz starts right now. What is the term for a group of kittens or puppies born to the same mother at one time? Mr. Froelich. Uh, litter? Litter's right. If a number is being squared, how many times is that number being multiplied by itself? Mr. Froelich again. Twice. Twice is right. What is the earliest type of timekeeping device that shows the time by the shadow of a point cast on a plate marked with the hours of the day? Mr. Williams. Sundial. Sundial's right. Teachers, take that 30 point lead right off the bat here. What is the term for a Native American social gathering involves singing, dancing, and feasting to honor their cultures? Grayson. Thanksgiving. Sorry, incorrect. Teachers? Mr. Froelich? Festival. A powwow is what we were looking for there. In the NBA, City of Orlando is represented by what team? Mr. Froelich. The Magic. Magic's right. What is the full title of the 2018 movie about superhero Miles Morales who crosses paths with his counterparts from another dimension? Spider-Man. Sorry? Spider-Man entered the Spider-Verse? There it is. Nicely done. What material does a carpenter traditionally use to make things? Grayson. One. Good. Here comes that extra credit. This is worth double. Students, you can tie the game right here. In the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, what villain puts a spell on Narnia so that it is never Christmas but always winter? Out of time on this one, guys. Looking for the White Witch. Oh, she nice. put that spell on there. What is the term for the light producing coil inside an incandescent light bulb? Mr. Froelich. A filament. Filament is right, and that is it for Pop Quiz. Okay, shut it down. Scores, 50 points for our teachers, 20 points for the students. We're off to a great start today. Check it out, guys. Eisenhower Science Technology Leadership Academy in Norristown, Pennsylvania. There has to be an acronym for this school. That's the longest name in the world. Estella. Is that Estella? Estella. Oh, that's, a, that's actually a pretty name, too. That's yeah. cool. Grayson, speaking of, of awesome, what's up? Nothing much. Okay. <laughs> that should wrap it all up here today. Yeah. So you got 500 on the line, man. That's a lot of money. If yeah. you guys win, where's that going to go? Um, to a class field trip. Ooh, nice. Do we know where yet? Uh, they said we might be going to the Philadelphia Zoo. But Ooh, perfect. Sure. So with the 500, that, that could go a long way for this grade. Yeah. All right, man, we got to talk about your hair. That is so yeah. cool. I wish I could dye my hair blue, but I heard that you like to do all sorts of colors. Yeah, pink, orange, almost everything. Uh, and, Mohamed, you were telling me he changes it like every month. Yeah, What's your much. favorite color that's ever been on his head? Hmm, I'm gonna say the blue. Ooh, the blue. Okay, so nicely done, man. Uh, and speak, my seventh grader, you love to draw? Yeah, I do. I make a few animations, and I have a whole drawing notebook. Do you want to be that when you grow up? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up because there's so many choices. I love your mentality on life. That is so cool. Well, good luck with everything with that. And all the way down the end, a man of many words, Robert. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fantastic, man. You play uh, you play a little baseball, huh? America's yeah. pastime? Yes, sir. What position? Pitcher. Oh, all right. So the question is this. How fast can you throw a ball? 55, 60. Whoa! My, I can't even drive a car that fast and not get pulled over. All right, guys, listen, you got three teachers over there that want to beat you, but I'm behind you and believe you can do it. So let's get them, right? 55, 60. My man 
man's got a cannon. Yeah. yeah. All right, Mr. Miller, good to see you, sir. You too. 500 on the line. If you win, where's it going? 3D printer. Oh, nice. That's fun, right? Oh, yeah. Who knows what you can make? The options are endless. Yes, sir. All right, so tell me about you, man. You're a uh, five, you got, you're a biz ed teacher. Oh, my gosh. I love, okay. I'm so excited to tell the world <laughs> this because you are in the midst of a man, a myth, a legend. Tell him why. Because I never missed a day of school, K through 12. That's insane to me. That is so crazy. <laughs> Even when you were sick, broken legs, arms, thumbs, what happened? Mom said you got to go to school. That's <laughs> wild. Here. I'll say this. Good job, Mom. My kids have already missed like 100 days. They're like, I'm sick. I'm like, ah, here's your iPad. Feel better. <laughs> All right, Mr. Williams, good to see you. Sixth grade teacher. You teach math. Uh, you're also the track and field coach for the high school? That's correct. Man, we had some big weekends, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a big one coming up in April, Penn Relays. Oh, no, you have, so you're at Nationals then? Oh, uh, yeah, we were at Nationals uh, last week. Oh, and obviously, everyone, and now if you're at the Penn Relays, all right, look, bring home some hardware, oh, man. Yeah, That's sure, excellent. Sure. You're just saying, Thank run you. fast. Do a lot of yelling. All right, cool, man. Good <laughs> to see you. And Mr. Frohl, good to see you. You're a special ed teacher yeah. uh, and a weekend podcast. What kind I of podcast am. you do? I'm a pro wrestling junkie. Right? Okay, cool. <laughs> so do you ever strap on the old singlet yourself and be like, come on? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he can talk about it like the best of them. Guys, you got three great kids over here, but someone's going to detention. This game's kicking off right again. <laughs> of detention teams you could put your buzzers down you're not going to need them on this one here's how it works i'm going to give the trailing team a category so students we're going to start with you guys you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass if you choose to play you answer the question correctly guys you get to send your teacher to detention it's excellent but here's the bad part if you get it wrong the other team can send one of you so be careful if you pass they have to answer the question same exact elimination rules apply the first team to get everybody into detention gets a smile wave at them and say what's up I just took 40 points. That's what we're playing for. Students, we're starting with you. Here we go. Children's books. They're children. Okay, pass. Oh. Pass. We're going to pass. You guys don't love children's books. <laughs> Got it. They only read adult books. Complete the following opening line from a beloved children's book. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and... We'll go with it. I'm going to say Peter Rabbit. Peter is right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Students. <laughs> Tough pass there, you guys. That means you're down one. Did you know the answer? Yeah. So you're mad you passed. OK, guys, you got to send somebody to detention. Who's it going to be? Ooh. Mamadou. <laughs> Mamadou, out of the game. <laughs> Sorry, Mama Do. Get comfortable. It's going to be a long one here. Yeah. All right, teachers, your category is science. Ooh, we're going to take that one. Okay, <laughs> what landform is a very steep, vertical, or overhanging face of rock, earth, or ice? Is that a north face? No. Is that a cliff? cliff. We're going to say a cliff. It's exactly what it is, a cliff. <laughs> and teachers take the two nothing lead. It's Grayson or it's Robert. One of them has to go to detention. Grayson. Grayson, sorry, bud. You are officially done. And Robert, you are left to hold it down for yourself here. Okay. Category goes back to you. You can do this, pal. Okay. We got three right here. You're laughing. Games. Uh, I'll play. According to its definition, what do teams pull in a game of tug of war? A rope. He's on its way. He's on his way. Okay. Robert, here you go, man. Mr. Four of it. Frolic? Yes. There he goes. Frolic out of the game. Okay. He's going to detention. And we're left with two as we move back to the teachers. Your category's calendar. You can play or you can throw it over to Robert, see how much he knows. The calendar. Calendar. We'll play. Here we go. How many months of the year start with the letter J? Five seconds. Three. Three is right, and how about it? They just won detention, bringing them up to 90. Robert, you're in detention. Mr. Froelich, you're out of there. Hey, guys, students just took a loss, but they're on their way back to winning this thing, so don't go anywhere. It's almost time for some of our contestants to take a seat in study hall. Today we 
have students and teachers from Eisenhower Science and Technology Leadership Academy in Montgomery County. What's the acronym? What are we saying? It's called? Estella. Estella. Oh, that sounds so much nicer. Hey, the score right now, 90 points for our teachers and students. They just lost to tension. They're up to 20, but they're coming back. And anyone can still win this thing because we're headed to study hall next. <laughs> Okay guys, here's how the game works. Each team's gonna select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those two players are gonna have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm gonna ask three questions about that photo one at a time. Both players will have five seconds to write down their answer to each question on a chalkboard. When time is up, both players are gonna reveal those answers. Each correct answer is gonna be worth 10 points. So look across the studio, guys. You have five seconds. Who's gonna enter study hall? Okay, teachers, we're gonna start with you. I'm going with Robert. Robert versus? Mr. Milligan. Mr. Milligan, let's go to study hall, guys. <laughs> OK. You feeling good, Robert? Yeah, you're comfortable. Let's see if we can do this. OK, guys, 10 seconds is on the clock. You're going to stare at that photo right there. Don't take your eyes off it. You don't have to write down anything until the 10 seconds is up. And I'll ask you a question. Here we go, 10 seconds on the clock. Let's see that photo. Ten seconds, pull it down. Okay, you guys are gonna have five seconds to write down your answers to these questions. Good luck, everybody. How many lamps are in the photo? Okay, let's reveal your answers. Mr. Milligan says one. Robert says two. The correct answer is two. Robert gets the points. Robert, just do a little dance, but you got that right. Okay, five more seconds on the clock. That was the worst shuffle I've ever done in my life, by the way. Here we go. What color are the boat sails in the painting on the wall? Five seconds. Reveal your answers. We have white sail and a blue sail. What color is the sail? White is the answer. Yeah, your prototypical white sail. Milligan strikes back. And here we go into question number three. Let's see if someone can get this one right. What food can be seen in the photo? Good luck, five seconds. Milligan's writing, Robert, nothing yet. You're gonna wanna start writing something. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have. Donut and nothing. Okay, Robert, that's okay. That was a, that was a heck of a guess there. The answer is a donut. Oh, they're so delicious. Milligan grabs another one. Hey, we're grabbing donuts after the show. Don't worry about it. Hey, we're not done yet. We're taking a field trip next. The bus is getting the gas in it. Hope you guys are too. Then we're gearing up for the final exam. The classroom is still in session when we come back. Right, now I do want donuts. Today we have students and teachers from Eisenhower Science and Technology Leadership Academy in Montgomery County. I had to check out the front row here. Panthers looking mean and green. We have some of our students here. Jalen, what grade are you in, my friend? Seventh. Seventh grade. How's the school? Good. You like going every day? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever missed a have you ever missed a day? Are you pulling the Milligan special? No off days. Milligan special. Yeah, that's what's up, man. No, no off days. Milligan, a man after your own heart right here. Check it out. Teachers, 110. Students, 30. It's anybody's game. You know these students best. Do they have it in them to come back? Of course. Right? You think you believe in them? Yes. Everyone at home should believe in them too, right? Yes. All right, well then, hey, we're guys, let's all get on the bus together because we're all taking a field trip together. <laughs> This was my favorite class in school. If you can consider field trips a class, I do right now. So teams, grab your buzzers. Today, we are taking a field trip to the Hard Rock Cafe. That sounds delicious. To test your knowledge of rock music. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question is gonna win 10 points for their team. You buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get it incorrect, someone on the other side can buzz in and steal those points. Who's driving the bus today? It's no one else than Sue Serio from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia, and she's asking 
asking the questions as well. Sue, we're on the bus. Let's go. Well, Richard, here in front of Philadelphia's Hard Rock Cafe, we have a few questions about rock and roll, like this one. Centuries, Uma Thurman, and the last of the real ones are songs by which rock group? Grayson. Imagine Dragons. Incorrect, teach for the steal. Sorry guys, we are looking for Fall Out Boy was the correct answer there, Fall Out Boy. All right, Sue, no one got the first one, but I'm feeling good about rock question number two. Now the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is located in Cleveland. Cleveland is located in which U.S. state? Mr. Froelich. Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio is right, bringing you up to 120. Okay. Students, you want to keep it within 100 here. You're going to want to get this one right. Sue Serio's got one more question for us. So, Sue, what question is it? The Chainsmokers collaborated with which band for their 2017 hit, Something Just Like This? Grayson. Maroon 5. You have great guesses, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Mr. Froelich. Is it Coldplay? Coldplay is right. Froelich gets it right. Yeah, it takes him to 130. All right, score stands. Teachers, 130 on the board. Students, 30 on the board. And that's okay because both teams have a chance to win. They're within 100 as we go to final exam. <laughs> The topic today's final exam is keywords. That means everything we'll be doing to do with keywords. All right, so here we go. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer, guys, about those keywords is going to be 100 points. You're going to work together and write down your answers during the commercial break. Let's get to our final exam. Here we go. First question. William Penn was part of what religious group that practices pacifism and calls themselves friends? Question number two, the Q is in the question, not the answer. How about this one? Quagsire, Quilava, and Quilladin are all types of characters in what popular game franchise? Finally, what act passed by the British Parliament in 1765 required the colonists to provide housing, food, and transportation to British soldiers? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it and come up with their answers in just a couple of minutes. One of these two teams is acing this final exam and ranking first right here in the classroom. Hey, but first, here's a look at how you can be a part of the show. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Eisenhower Science and Technology Leadership Academy. They're in the classroom and they're going head to head. How about this? Teachers in the lead 130 to the students 30, but check it out. 300 points is still on the board as we head into final exam. So today we learned it. It's all about keywords. What's your favorite keyword, Grayson? Do you have one? Quiz. Quiz. Just that's what you're on, right? So big game today. You beat your teachers. How does Grayson, a uh, seventh grader, celebrate? What do we do? Uh, nice dinner. There. Oh, <laughs> nice dinner. Is some uh, maybe someone invited? Sure. Okay. That was the nicest invite I've ever gotten, Grayson. Don't worry. I've been left out of plenty of parties in my day. All right, guys. Here's the party right here. 100 points for each correct answer. How are we going to do? I have no idea. Let's go to the questions and find out. William Penn. He was a part of what religious group that practices pacifism and calls themselves friends? Students, you're behind right here, Robert, so we're going to start with you. Let's see how you do. Q word. Quakers. Quaker. Tough one. You a big Quaker fan? You better be. That one just got you 100. Good job, buddy. Bring up to 130. And how about this, ladies and gentlemen? It is a tie game. As we move over to Mr. Froelich, Quakers. Quakers is 100, going to get you guys up to 230. They fire right back. OK. Just like that, we move into question number two, guys. Here we go. In this question, 
The Q words are in the question, not the answer. Quagsire, Quilava, and Quilladin are all types of characters in what popular game franchise? Mamadou. No. Oh no, Mamadou, no answer there. Not a game player, huh? No. Ever? No. Not here in the one we needed. Hold on to your pants here because teachers, you might be. Pokemon. Pokemon. The three types, that's gonna get it, 3.30. And how about that? That answer right there is winning them $500 today. Students, teachers, come on out here. What acts passed by British Parliament in 1765 required the colonists? We're looking for the quartering act. How about this one? Both sides had it. $500 today. You guys have a good time on the show. Hey, thanks for joining us. We're gonna see you next time right here on The Classroom. Guys, we were so close, man. Pokemon, right? I knew Quilava. Quilava. But I forgot. Right? The I'm three thinking, stages. I'm thinking of a video game. Yeah. You had it. Next time we got it. Next time we're coming back. We're all playing Pokemon and we're going to get that middle answer right there. Teachers, great job. Nice game out there. Thanks for being here. Mr. Williams, great job. Mr. Milligan, nicely done. Hey, guys, how about this check, man? Love that 500 right here.